Now our topic of discussion is tetracycline. Tetracycline, these are the broad spectrum antibiotics and they are, they are mainly bacteriostatic in nature. They inhibit the protein synthesis. They are active against many gram positive and gram negative bacteria including such as anaerobes, rickettsia, chlamydia, mycoplasma in, and some protozoa. Absorption is impaired by the daily, uh, dairy, meal, uh, dairy and milk products such as antacids and food and um, alkaline pH. Now classification of tetracyclines. The tetracyclines can be classified into natural and semi-synthetic. In case natural, the examples are chlorotetracycline, oxytetracycline, tetracycline and demiclocycline. Semi-synthetic are doxycycline and minocycline. According to the duration of uh, action, the drugs can be classified into short acting, intermediate acting and long acting. In case of short acting, uh, these are the examples are chlorotetracycline, oxytetracycline and intermediate acting are demiclocycline, methicycline and long acting are doxycycline and minocycline and trigacycline. Mechanism action of tetracyclines. They, these drugs enter into the microorganisms in part by passive diffusion and in part by energy dependent process of active transport. Drug concentrates intracellularly then reversibly binds to the 30th ribosomal subunit blocking the binding of amino acid tRNA to the acceptor site of the mRNA ribosome complex and this inhibits the protein synthesis. Mechanism of resistance of tetracycline because this is very much important in our current days because the most of the antibiotics are getting resistance by the organisms and the mechanism of resistance to tetracycline are main, mainly three types impaired influx or increased efflux by an tetracycline active transport protein pump ribosomal protection due to the production of many uh, proteins that interfere the drug binding to the acceptor sites and also enzymatic inactivation of the drugs. Now importance of tetracycline of resistance. Tetracycline resistance is a marker of multi-drug resistance such as aminoglycosides, sulfonamides and chloramphenicol. As efflux pump encoded on plasmid encodes resistance genes for other drugs which is transmissible by tra either transduction or transmission. Indications now the indications of tetracyclines are rickettsial infection, microplasma pneumonia, vibrio cholerae, chlamydial infection, some spirochetes, plague, tularemia, brucellosis in combination with aminoglycosides, acne, Lyme disease, leptospirosis, peptic ulcer disease in other combination in combination with triple therapy, anti as an anti malarial drug, doxycycline and minocycline is used, anti amoebic drug in entomoba histolytica, topically in ophthalmic in, in different ophthalmic infections, tetracycline is used. Now what are the adverse effects? The adverse effects are GIT upset, heterotoxicity, nephrotoxicity, photosensitivity, uh, sorry photosensitizations, vestibular reactions, super infection in case of children and young uh, children below the uh, 10 years it causes the bone, uh, it causes the um, fluorescence in, in case of teeth it causes the fluorescence, enamel dysplasia and discolorations and in case of bones, uh, in case of bones it causes the bones deformity and growth retardation. Now the contraindications of retrocyclines are children below the 10 years, pregnant women, lactating mother and renal failure. Now here are the difference and comparisons between the tetracycline and doxycyclines. The potency of tetracycline is very much low and doxycycline potency high, bioavailability is high in case of doxycycline. Excreted the both drugs, uh, one drug tetracycline is excreted mainly renal root and doxycycline is excreted via the bile. The interhepatic recycling occurs in case of doxycycline. But in case of tetracycline, there is no enterohepatic recycling as the drug is excreted uh, by rapid renal excretion. And photosensitization it causes more, much more in case of doxycycline, and in case of tetracycline, it is low. Incidence of diarrhea is occurs mainly high in uh, tetracycline and low in doxycycline. Thank you all. This was all today's topic discussion.